Good morning, gentlemen and ladies. RSX Squishy here. And for today's video, I'm going to be talking about Activision, finally talking about the voice chat ban system and its updates and what's going to be going on with it in the future. Now, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I'm trying to get to 4,069 subs. Um, it really helps when you guys like and comment. Um, and make sure you subscribe too or you are a racist. Okay, let's get started with the video. Now, I just want to say I have... Although I am a small creator, I have probably been the biggest advocate that is against voice chat banning and this stupid voice chat moderation system that has plagued Call of Duty for the last year. Now, I don't say things remotely racist, homophobic or anything like that, but the system itself is flawed. It doesn't work. Uh, spam reporting on voice chat can literally ban someone for up to 30 days without them being able to talk to anybody, including their own teammates. It's just stupid. Trash talk is a big part of Call of Duty and it needs to stay there. There's no reason why you need to moderate voice chat. Half the fun with Call of Duty is literally talking trash. Now, now that I got that out of the way, um, this has been an ongoing issue for me. And one of the reasons why I, I feel like I haven't played Call of Duty as much is because I'm always getting chat banned just because I'm talking regular trash to people. Now, they finally released a statement uh, within the last week. Sorry for not uh, uploading, but... Um, they released a statement on Twitter, and I'm going to read it to you, and then I'm going to talk about the, how just how stupid it is now. They put, in today's progress report, the disruptive behavior team, I can't believe they have a team, by the way, it's so stupid, shared the latest results and upgrades made to our anti-toxicity tools, which will reinforce the ongoing work towards deploying the anti-toxicity system for the launch of Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Now, you, just to make it clear, Black Ops 6 is going to launch with the stupid anti-voice chat toxicity whatever shit and it's already going to be doomed from the start uh, this is the second part as a reminder we know that hype and passion are part of call of duty's dna the voice and text based moderation tools in call of duty don't target the competitive spirit rather they enforce against toxic behavior identified in the call of duty franchise code of conduct this has got to be the biggest bullshit i've ever fucking heard from call of duty and activision because there's no way that ai can detect when you know when you're doing just simple trash talk when you're just being competitive and when you're being toxic blatantly toxic against somebody i kid you not i can't tell you the amount of times i've just been playing and then i get shot so i like yell something like just like oh this is fucking bullshit and then the game itself i get a fucking chat warning or I don't even get a warning at all, and then I just get banned for up to 14 days. It's stupid. It doesn't work, and this system is so fucking flawed. If you guys look at any of the comments in my um, previous uh, uh, voice chat ban, voice chat moderation videos, you guys will see how many comments I get on there on people complaining that they weren't even saying anything. Some people literally say that they even have their freaking mic off, and that they just get reported or... They're not even talking and then they still get a voice chat warning, which is ridiculous. And there's so many different people saying it that I know it's not people that are lying or anything. Um, this system just doesn't work. And if they really want to combat toxicity, they can do it or try to do it another way. But there's just too many people and the stupid AI voice chat moderation system doesn't work. It really doesn't. Um, uh, they also linked an article uh, on there um, just to go more in debt. They talked about how they're going to include it in uh, English, Spanish, Portuguese, and they're going to add so many other language or so many other languages just to expand more on it. In my opinion, again, it's a bad idea because there's so many people that I feel are just not going to play the game as much because they can't talk to their own teammates. Like, if they, I want you to think about this. Like, from a business perspective if you own the call of duty franchise and you're banning people from talking to anybody literally no communication between you your own teammates your own party or anybody on the other team when playing multiplayer zombies or anything do you think that makes the game fun no and i get a lot of people just don't talk in general but for the most part anyone that talks wants to have that communication and not just play the game bored or anything it's freaking stupid there's a reason why people buy freaking mics and all that shit it's because people want to talk to other people and and trash talk and now this stupid game bans you from doing the simplest things it's so stupid um 
what else uh, do they talk about? They talk about how 45 million text messages blocked. Okay, whatever. People always say stupid stuff on a, on a text chat. So that doesn't matter. Honestly, to me, it literally doesn't affect me. When, whether someone starts calling me racist crap, it doesn't affect me whatsoever. I don't lose sleep over it. If someone starts trash talking, uh, they can pick up on my uh, Mexican accent right away, my lisp. They can talk trash to me. I really don't care. I don't lose sleep over it. And nobody should either. Again, I've said this before in other videos. If people are playing online video games and they're getting their feelings hurt to the point where they're losing sleep or they're literally crying or getting their, again, their feelings hurt in a video game from other people trash talking, you don't deserve to be playing online in the first place. It's a game rated M for mature. And if you're not mature enough to handle trash talk, then you're a fucking idiot and you don't deserve to play the game anyway. Um, this uh, second part of the article, by the way, is what really, really, really pissed me off because it's like you're talking to people that have like half a brain or whatever, pretty much Kamala Harris supporters. Uh, anyway, uh, this, is, this is what it says. Exposure to voice toxicity dropped 43%. So they talk about how since rolling out, so they, they have the voice chat uh, moderation, which I think rolled out in January. And then they had an update back in June, the update in June. So essentially here, uh, in January when they launched it, um, pretty much anytime you were uh, talk trash, it would mute you, the other team would have to unmute you. They rolled out a tougher version in June of this year to where now nobody can admit you. You're just muted and nobody can hear you talk, not even your own teammates. They they put exposure to voice toxicity dropped 43%. And then uh, they rolled on here. Since rolling out the improved voice chat enforcement in June of 2024, Call of Duty has seen a combined 67% reduction in repeat offenders of voice chat based offenses in Modern Warfare 3 and Call of Duty Warzone. In July 2024, 80% of players that were issued a voice chat enforcement since launch did not re-offend. Exposure to disruptive voice chat continues to fall, dropping by 43% since uh, January 2024. The reason why a lot of people aren't re-offending and why you've seen such a big drop is because people are not playing the fucking game as much. Obviously, if you look at the player count from January to October, the month that we're in, right before a new game comes out, not as many people are gonna be playing that game. So when you're chat banning other people and then less, less and less people are playing throughout the way the months go by, of course you're gonna see less people reoffend because there's gonna be less people playing the game. It's like they don't understand that. I really don't get how multi-billion dollar companies don't understand this. Like, who are they trying to please with voice chat moderation? Anyone that buys this game knows that you're buying a game where you're literally shooting people. You have executions that chop people's heads off. You're shooting people. It's a shooter game based off a military shooter, you know? You got Snoop Dogg there smoking fucking weed. You got all these uh, Cheech and Chong weed references on there. You got operators cursing all the time. But yet, as soon as I do it and as soon as I talk a little bit of trash, I get chat banned and I can't talk for the rest of the fucking a week or month that's fucking stupid literally nobody wants this the only people that complain about this are freaking women that play the game and then they get butt hurt when people make kitchen comments which is, uh, i'm not really gonna get into that but i really don't see other people that get butt hurt up about this i've been playing this game since 2010 and never have i met someone that goes Oh, you know what? I like Call of Duty. It's just so toxic. Like, the toxicity is what a lot of people like. I I can guarantee you more people like the toxicity and the trash talking than more people that wanting to ban, chat ban everyone. It's just ridiculous. I want to know what you guys think at this point. Um, do you guys agree with me? Or do you guys think that Call of Duty needs to be tougher on voice chat? Like, honestly, whatever your opinion is, I want to hear it. And I really want to, you know, know how other people think because I have yet to see people that agree with this crap. And it just really, really pisses me off. Um, again, if you guys have been watching up until now, thank you so much for supporting. I'll be making other videos uh, on voice chat moderation as soon as I see the updates. 
and I'm going to be a, a bigger advocate for this and make sure to comment on this video, comment on other creators so they can make videos talking about it. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe and thanks for watching my videos.